Hi, I'm Matthew Brennan, and today we'll be taking a tour of St. Mark's Church in Baltimore, Maryland, presented as part of Doors Open Baltimore, a free citywide festival of architecture and neighborhoods. Welcome to St. Mark's Lutheran Church in Baltimore, Maryland. This building has been the home of the congregation since 1898, when the church moved here from its original location on Utah Street. This is a 360 degree video, so you can look around either by clicking and dragging on the screen or by rotating your mobile device. For the most immersive experience, try watching it on a virtual reality headset. What you're seeing in this video is a combination of imagery captured through 3D scanning as well as with a 360 degree camera. This technology allows for an experience of space that is very close to being there in reality and facilitates the extension of experience that is otherwise limited by time, money, or health crises, such as the coronavirus pandemic, which has canceled many in-person events. From our location here in the center of the nave, we can see that this building is designed according to a basilica plan, meaning that it has a large central space called the nave, with aisles on either side, separated from the nave by columns. Let's move closer to the altar. The altar, at the opposite end of the nave from the entrance, is raised and set into an apse. This type of plan derives from the ancient Roman basilica, which was a large public building that housed courts of law and other public services. In late antiquity, many Christian churches were constructed using this same architectural design. For example, Let's take a look at the Basilica of Santa Maria in Trastevere in Rome, Italy, to see how its design compares. We are now standing in the nave of Santa Maria in Trastevere in Rome. We can see that there is a large central space flanked by two aisles on the other side of the columns. The main altar is also raised and placed into a semicircular apse, just like at St. Mark's. Not only do Santa Maria and Trastevere have a similar design to St. Mark's, using the Basilica plan, but there is even a Baltimore connection here. One of the cardinal priests of this church in Rome was Cardinal James Gibbons, who was Archbishop of Baltimore from 1877 to 1921, and after whom the Cardinal Gibbons School in Baltimore is named. In fact, there's a bronze plaque commemorating Gibbons and the Archdiocese of Baltimore here, just to the left of the main altar. You can see a photograph of the plaque on screen now. Let's return to Baltimore. St. Mark's was designed in the Romanesque style by the Baltimore architect Joseph Evans Sperry. The beautiful interior of the church was designed by Tiffany Glass and Decorating Company of New York City. The chief artist of Tiffany and Company, René de Quailine, oversaw the project. In a moment, we'll take a look at some of the exquisite stained glass windows that Tiffany was known for. The altar, lectern, pulpit, and baptismal font are all the work of J&R Lamb Studios of New Jersey and are made of rubio marble with inlaid mother of pearl. Let's move up onto the altar and into the apse to get a better look. On the wall above the altar is a Tiffany mosaic, which was donated by Waldo Newcomer as a memorial to his wife, Margaret Vanderpoel Newcomer, who died in 1920. It replaces what was originally a painting of a mosaic. If we turn and look down the nave back toward the entrance of the church, we can see the large medallion window set into the facade. Let's move up onto the balcony to take a closer look. This window, surrounded by 12 lights, representing the Twelve Apostles, was designed by Tiffany and Company. This heavy stonework is typical of the Romanesque style. Let's go back down to the nave and have a look at the ornate stained glass windows along the side of the church. Along the north wall of St. Mark's are three large stained glass windows, a dedicatory window, one with the theme of Christ as the Good Shepherd, and one showing the Resurrection. 
The Good Shepherd window, donated in 1918, and The Resurrection, installed in 1932, were both designed by Tiffany and Company. Each displays a technique which Tiffany innovated, the so-called drapery glass, which involved layering, pulling, folding, and twisting poured glass to imitate and accentuate garment folds. The dedicatory window on the far left was designed by Joseph Lauber of Baltimore and installed in 1917. These windows commemorate Raina Keel Robinson and Catherine Ludwig. The Keel Robinson window on the left depicts the birth of Christ, and we can see Mary and Joseph holding the Christ child in what is clearly a manger. The wooden frame of a wagon and the timbers of a humble structure are visible in the background. The Ludwig window depicts a scene that is rarely found after the 1800s. It is an episode from the life of Christ, often called the Finding in the Temple, or Christ Among the Doctors, and it shows a young Jesus seated on a raised dais, gesturing to and surrounded by scholars. In this example, Mary, in blue with an orange veil, is shown rushing through the door of the temple to find her son, who she feared was lost in the city of Jerusalem. The most famous renderings of this scene are by Paolo Veronese, who painted his in 1560, and Albrecht Dürer in 1506, as well as Rembrandt, who made three etchings. Even Leonardo da Vinci depicted the scene, however that painting is lost. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of St. Mark's Church, presented as part of Doors Open Baltimore 2020. In the video description, there's a link to the church website, the Doors Open website, and the website of Baltimore Heritage. And of course, if you'd like to see more content like this, please consider donating to Doors Open Baltimore. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more cultural heritage and 360-degree and VR content. Until next time.